y'all in this room can say he's only to be successful at this point in life? So y'all know how the definition how y'all know how the definition of y'all do y'all know what the definition of success is? It's whatever you think is the definition. If you think that you are successful, then you are. No one can change that because you define you define whether or not you are. Or not. That's right. Yeah. My mom is one of the most successful people that I know because I got to experience the process of what she did. My mom is an entrepreneur and she formed her own business. I was in fifth grade in 2014. I just came home from school and she was, her door was open and it was just a bunch of papers around her. I walked in the room and I was like, Mom, what are you doing? She was like, I'm working on something. So I minded my business, kept on doing what I was doing, being a kid for her. So a couple weeks later, she comes to me and she's like, look what I got. And it was a paper and a bunch of numbers and words and a, a bunch of abbreviations and stuff. And the paper was her business and her plan. It was about this thing. <laughs> and that's what she was working on the whole time. So I was getting older and I started to understand more. And she started bouncing ideas off of me for a name because she needed a name for her business before she started making business cards and actually started it up. So we came up with Seniors Back in, and I helped her design the logo. So I was introduced to entrepreneurship at a young age. Fast forward to the sixth and seventh grade, the business was going on for three years and it was going good. We moved to Arizona uh, in seventh grade, when I was in seventh grade. So she had to pause it. But she only stopped it for a little bit because she wanted to go to college to get her degree in human resource management. Eighth grade, it wasn't a good year at all. It was the worst year. No, middle school is, it depends on, it depends on how you um, view it. Mine wasn't good my last year because I start, something happened and I don't want to speak on it because it's unnecessary and I'm, I'm, I'm That's right. But, um, but I came down with depression and I felt like I didn't really have anything to live for. And I was on the phone with my Nana, crying and telling her, like, Nana, I don't want to do this no more. Um, I don't be tired. And I got a call from my mom. She was at work, in the bedroom, crying. And just hearing, like, your mom's voice on the phone, and you can actually feel her pain through the phone, it's heartbreaking. So I realized that I had to get myself together. But I didn't. I stopped taking care of myself. I, I missed school for like a month. And it was coming up on graduation time. And that's when I started. I snapped back. Not really. But I did what I had to do just to get out of there. I graduated, moved on to ninth grade. Summertime, I'm still feeling down. And then I prayed a little bit. After I, before I went to sleep, I prayed and I woke up and I was like, what am I doing? I gotta get myself together. I need to actually do something for myself. So I did start taking care of myself. I started doing more than what I did last year. Now I'm in ninth grade. I'm a ninth grade ambassador. I run track. And I'm academic wise. As you know, I attend Reginald F. Lewis High School. And y'all, I'm not even going to lie, I was scared to go there at first. But <laughs> when you first go in, it's like a don't judge a book by, the, by its cover thing. People hear all this stuff about Reginald and they're like, 
oh, that's a bad school. I wouldn't want to send my child there. And that's what all my family members say. But I don't tell people my business. They don't know that I'm a ninth grade ambassador, and they don't know what I'm doing to actually get through high school. My grades are exclusive. Oh, I don't even know. I have a 3.4 GPA, and I actually got all the way. The school's not bad. It's actually a good school. Granted, we do have some bad students, but every school, every high school has bad students. But the students don't, those, those bad students at those schools, they don't define what the school really is. Regional is a business and law school, which is why I decided to go there, because I am a future entrepreneur and I would like to make my own business because I don't like listening to the rules and I don't like following them. I don't like people telling me what to do. So I'm attending regular to achieve what I want to do and not what somebody else wants me to do. The principal, she's very nice. Miss Smith, she helped me a lot. And a lot of the staff, they're very respectful and they actually care for their students. The kids, some of them, don't like, but I say to myself, I just do what I have to do. And since I go to virtual, now that I think about it, I, did, I never really thought of myself as a person that owned to run their own business, like telling other people what to do. But I'm the big sister, so it's already like, yeah, I'm made, I'm made for that. My father's first child. I don't come, sec I come second to nobody, so just And I want to thank my mom because she is the reason that I even am still here. And I'm just very thankful because now I'm in ninth grade and got to sit in a room full of black entrepreneurs that actually got somewhere in their life and I'm a 15-year-old girl with a bunch of uh, successful black adults. That's right. That's right. That's right.